Welcome back to WCCF Tech TV everyone, this is Keith once again, and Intel and AMD sent shockwaves throughout the tech sphere last Monday when they announced a brand new, first of its kind product featuring Intel's KB Lake CPU microarchitecture and a discrete Radeon Vega graphics chip from AMD. Well, Vega, Polaris, it's a Radeon graphics chip. The new product is expected to debut sometime in the first half of next year, with Intel teasing more details in the first quarter of 2018. The new multi-chip module will go into high-performance, thin and light mobile designs, and very few specifications of the new product have been announced to date. One detail that Intel has confirmed is that the GPU will feature 4GB of second generation high bandwidth memory. Luckily, a photo of the new custom AMD Intel chip has been spotted by the folks over at Bits and Chips. The package includes three dies. You can see the first of the three on the left, now that's the KB Lake CPU die, and on the right we see a package within a package. Those two dies are the Radeon graphics chip and 4 gigs of second gen high bandwidth memory. The AMD graphics chip is clearly significantly larger than the KB Lake die, and that's for a good reason. While AMD hasn't announced the specifications of the GPU yet, we've managed to figure out the parts ourselves thanks to some sleuthing and stitching info together. The GPU has been leaked more than a few times on a number of benchmarking databases, including 3DMark. Its features, at least in one configuration, the 24 Vega compute units with a total of 1536 stream processors, we're currently unaware if this is the highest end configuration of the die or whether the higher core count exists, so stay tuned for that. Now, depending on the entry spotted in 3D Mark, the GPU engine operates anywhere from between 1 plus and 1.2 gigahertz. The exact figure is still unknown because the chip is still in its post-silicon engineering stage and clock speeds of the final product, are, they'll, they'll vary and, you know, will invariably be different. There's also some variance in the HBM2 clock speed depending on which engineering sample we're talking about. Some have HBM2 clocked at 700 megahertz, while others have it clocked at 800 megahertz. Again, none of these figures are final, so we don't know for sure until the product is officially out of the door next year. Now what these figures do tell us is that it is going to be one hell of a chip. 3.3 teraflops, with performance rivaling that of the PlayStation 4 Pro, making it the most powerful non-console APU we've seen to date. Could this potentially be AMD's Vega 11? If you've been following the GPU leak scene for a while, you will likely ask yourself whether what we're looking at is a customized version of the fabled Vega 11 GPU, and there's a good chance the answer may be yes. We've heard way back that AMD was working on a second Vega GPU design specifically for mobile devices and that would fall under its Vega 10 flagship. Based on the numerous leaks that we've also know that Vega 11 will feature a single stack of 4GB of HBM2 and will arrive sometime in late 2017. Additionally, reports emerged back in September that Vega 11 was entering production, which happens to be just in time for Intel's product launch early next year. Well, if it looks like a duck, swims like a duck, and it quacks like a duck, it's probably not a goose. Good chance it's a duck. In other words, Everything we know about Vega 11 matches this mysterious custom Vega GPU, so stay tuned. It looked like we might be seeing more of Vega 11 sooner rather than later. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you in the next one.